I've been seeing a lot of people doing hand painted nail art, like really intricate designs, so I figured I might as well give it a shot because I used to paint a lot and I really enjoy it, so I'll put in some pictures that I painted or drew when I was younger, but my favorite painting is Starry Night by Van Gogh, so I'm figuring hopefully that I will be able to split it into five sections and do the whole picture on five nails. So I've kind of got this that I drew really quick, maybe in like five minutes, just kind of got it split into five sections here. And I've got this beside me so I can actually look at what it's actually supposed to look like. So I have just put these full cover nail tips on this little stand and I found this, it's actually a pen holder. I open it up I've got a pen in here but it was the only thing I could find that was long enough to get these all to stick because I don't have one of the actual stands so I'm going to start by painting the background just this solid gray that way if I miss any brush strokes or anything like that at least there will be something in the background okay so I am really unorganized today but I now have my paper towels here I have this Model 1's Gray, it is 007 off of their website if you want to purchase it. It is a solid painting gel, so when you open it up, it is solid in there so it won't run around or anything like that. But I am going to paint each one of these with the gray, and I've went ahead and I've buffed the surface of all these already so that the product will in fact stick. Okay, so I have those all cured, and because I'm going to be using a different brand of gel polish on top of the Model 1s, I'm going to remove the dispersion layer. I pulled out these brushes and this dotting tool. I think that will be the best way to go about doing this. And then I've got my little dish, which really needs to be clean. I think I'm going to start with the lighter colors, so I'm going to get the yellows placed the stars and the moon but on the inside of those it's a little bit more orange so I'm going to place some yellow I don't want to put too much out because I have a feeling that I'm going to get started and then I'm going to have to stop and finish after the weekend so I don't want too much and I don't need much red at all that's probably all I'll need because I just want to make it a little bit orange. So I'm just going to take this really tiny little brush here and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this yellow and move it over and then the smallest bit of red. Even that was too much. I think. Yeah, that was too much. So I'm going to pick up some more yellow like that. That's not too bad, but it's still a little bit orange, so I'm just going to take a little bit more yellow. It's not like I use yellow a lot anyway, so quite a bit. That's better. It doesn't have to be completely mixed because a lot of his brush strokes are not fully mixed either so I might even just dip into this over here a little bit and even a little bit of this okay so what I'm going to start with is I think I'm going to paint the moon so it's going to be over here I'm going to start painting this so moon and honestly that looks like what I'm going for so I'm going to give that a really quick cure then I'm gonna take my dotting tool while that's curing and I'm gonna go ahead on the larger one and I'm gonna dip in here kind of back and forth so we get a little bit orange and a little bit yellow something like that because in the center of these stars is more concentrated, so I'm going to put just a little dot there with 
more orange in the middle and then we'll make it bigger. There's also one down here. I'll make that bigger. Also a large one right about here. So we'll put half of it on this nail and half on the next nail. Directly below, about here. And then there's a couple smaller ones up here as well. So we'll just quickly add those. They don't have to be perfect. And there's a little one right about here. So they look kind of weird so far, but that is what I'm going for. So, so there is that. Around these stars, some of the yellow is a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna put some white on here. Just a little bit, and then I can mix it around. Okay, so when I'm painting this sort of painting, I like to not clean my brush all too often because it kind of makes for the different tones that you're looking for. Also, it's got a little bit of a green tint to it, so I'm gonna put tiny as a bit of blue on here, like, just like that. I'm gonna take this and just a little bit on the end of my brush, if you can see that little wee bit of blue, and I'm just going to put it there. And then I'm gonna take what I mixed from that and I'm going to mix it over here. Just that little bit, and then I'm also going to mix with some white over here. Just so we get all those different colors. Okay, so here is the moon. And on the inside there, we have this more, it's kind of like he completed the circle, so it's a little bit more yellow than that in some areas, but not all of them. Oh, something like that. And then he also went around the outside of it. And this painting is made up of little tiny strokes, so you don't want your lines to be perfect, you don't want them to be too thick, you don't want them to be too long. You just kind of want a whole mixture yellow spots out here as well that are filled in with blue. So I'm just going to add a little bit and then I can work them in with the blue later. We have something like that and I'm gonna give that a cure just so we don't mess it up. I'm going to take my dotting tool and I'm going to finish the rest of these stars. So on this one we have one that's about here. We have one that's about here. And then we have to finish this one here that's half there and half the other one. So we'll get it to the side. Hope this is making a little bit of sense. I'm just kind of tackling this the way I would if I were painting it on a canvas with the color scheme. So, and there we go. Okay, so now I kind of have to do the same thing I did with the moon. So on these, and I know I haven't cured those yet, but We'll get there. So on these stars, the very center point on a lot of them, so I'm going to pick this little guy up just so you can see what I'm doing, but a lot of them, like, let's see, this one here, it has a very center point that's kind of concentrated with a little bit of orange. So I'm just going to add the orange 
and same with this one down here so it's half there and half on this one and then this one over here has a little orange spot and then we'll just add a little bit to this one here as well and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cure that just so they don't move around Okay, so I move them a little bit further apart just so I have a little bit of extra room. But now, I'm going to start painting out and around these guys. I need more white. I should have put more out when I started, but I'll put extra out now. I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow out because I found that I need a lot more than I figured just because of all the mixing. So put the yellow there. Because I need the lighter yellow, I need the darker yellow, I need the orange, I need the green tinted yellow. I'm gonna work with this one that's half there and half on the other one. Because it is a larger one. Now, I think I'm going to start with the foreground pieces. So, I'm going to need some black. Now, let's see if we can do this. So, I'm going to take some black. I'm going to take some orange. I'm going to take some red. Take some blue. some more orange and then some more black some more red I'll do I think for now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start I'm gonna start so the top of the cypress is right about here. I'm going to start and then it comes down and there's a little bit there and then it continues straight. Well it doesn't continue straight but that'll be my guide. And I'm going to cure that before I mess it up. Now that that is cured, I'm going to actually take a little bit of alcohol on my brush and just put it in here because it's thick and I don't want it that thick. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to add little bits of this throughout. And I'm going to clean my brush for this, but I want... Actually, I don't want it to blend, so I'm going to cure that once again. But while that's curing, I'm going to draw the other half of my cypress on here. So I'm going to dip into just a little bit of this, and then yellow as well. Just like that, because there are... Come on, stick. There are... Little slivers of white and yellow throughout so I'm just going to add that and then I'm going to go through with black just to add a little bit more okay so we've cured that and I'm going to take absolutely just black this time and I'm just going to go in different directions here like that and I'm going to cure that before I ruin it okay so I went and I removed the yellow from my tray because I'm going to be starting on the blue I'm not done with the yellow but I did not have enough room 
to keep mixing. So I'm going to need a little bit of probably every color to be honest, but I'm going to need a lot of blue. So I'm going to put quite a bit of blue on there. Okay, so what I'm going to, I'm going to start with, I think, is this swirl that is in the center of the picture. So I'm going to put that on the middle nail, but it is a lot of um, kind of baby blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop a little bit of blue and then I'm going to scoop a little bit of white just to make a little bit of a lighter blue. And then I'm going to actually add more, but I'm not going to mix it all the way, just like that. I'm not going to mix it. I'm going to clean my brush just at the beginning here. This swirl starts about here, I would say. So I'm just going to take this, starts about here, and it comes up, and it goes back, and it comes to about I'm going to be working on all of these right now because I think that is the best way that my brain will be able to do it. So we're going to bring the blue over here and it is also up here and it comes right through there and then over here it is up a little bit. It's way above that one, way above that one, and then it's this one that I'm connecting to right here, and then this one comes through, and we are connecting up here something like that so it does swirl under but there's a second swirl as well so the second swirl starts about here and it comes under through the point here and around the bottom and then it swirls under so this swirl comes over and swirls under. And I'm going to take a little bit of lighter blue, a little bit of darker blue, and we're just going to kind of add streaks all the way through here. Okay, so I'm hoping that cured enough, and I'm just going to take some white, and I'm just going to do some of these little lines so it looks like his brush strokes do. Okay, and I'm also noticing he has a little bit of yellow so I'm gonna actually this doesn't look wide enough to me so I'm going to just add some deeper blue here and then I'm going to take some yellow because he has some yellow and I'm just kind of going to feather it in here just like that just to add a little bit of that dimension that he has in his painting. And then, I'm not going to be touching that, so I don't really need to cure that. But, what is going on next in this painting, I still don't know how I'm going to draw a little town down here, but anyways, so, in this painting, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start with a little bit of yellow, 
Now I'm gonna need more white because I mixed that all with blue. So I'm gonna put some more white on here. So I'm going to take some white, some yellow, and I'm just gonna kind of feather it like I did before. So every time I pick up, I get a little bit of a different tone. So right here, there is a yellow stripe and it comes up and it comes up and it stops right about there. And then on the other side, I'm gonna take even more yellow because that is not as yellow as I wanted. And it comes up kind of around the swirl and it touches the underside of the swirl and then it's under this star over here. I'm gonna cure that a little bit. I made this little bit of green over here and I'm just going to, I think it needs to be a little bit more green for it to show up properly. Just going to paint little lines. And then we'll cure that. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna tackle the town last. So on my little tray down here, I took some blue and I mixed it with black in little bits, not completely mixed. So we can get those brush strokes that we want. So I'm gonna do one at a time, I think. I'm going to need some more darker blue because it is fairly dark. I'm just kind of mixing black with the blue so we get that darker tone. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to cure that. This is what we have so far. Um, so now we've got to tackle the mountains and the little town. So there is some green over there. So I'm going to mix some green. I don't know what happened to me, but I need brown too. So I'm going to mix some brown and some green. Kind of a nasty brown, but anyway. I grabbed red instead of, I don't know what I grabbed the first time when I was trying to make green. Don't ask. It's been a long day, anyway. Kind of a dark green, anyway. Because over here is some because there's not much left on that nail for me to do. I'm just gonna kind of fill it in with that green and a little bit of blue because that is all that's really happening that I can put on there. And that's about all I can do for that nail, for now anyway. We're not done, that's just the basics, basic outline. Okay, so, now, underneath this yellow, we have a really kind of 
dark blue like this. It's a little bit more blue, but I wonder. Let me see. I have another blue up here. I just don't know. It might be a different tint that'll work. Let's see. Well, it's about the same color. I don't know why I ordered them both. Oh, this one was called Kansas Sky. That's why. That reminded me of Supernatural. So that's why I did that. But we'll add some here. Anyway, mix it with the black. And then we want to line some black in it just like that. So we get that different variation. Clean our brush. And I'm going to have to add more black because that is not dark enough. But anyway, and then it goes to about here. Where it then gets darker. And kind of goes into this little, this little hill right here. Like that. And then, then it's thin over here, and it's thin over here, and that kind of little hill. And then under that, over here, it's a little bit lighter, this kind of true blue and then it fills in here and under that and then over here as well it's kind of like a little hill okay so here we go now we have to draw this little town which is going to be an adventure but I have this dotting tool like if you can see this this is the dotting tool I was using for the stars and this is the dotting tool I'm going to be using I think I have an even smaller one somewhere but why don't we tackle this side one here because all it is is there is like these little bumps okay so I'm gonna let that sit and then on this one here there is it honestly looks like little lines just like this because of the way I did it this is how it's gonna happen and then the town is gonna be on these two other in reality there's a little bit of the town over here and there's a little bit right here but I am not that talented to get it in there so um, yeah we're gonna cure those two and then we'll try and tackle the town Okay, so here we go. So I found an even tinier dotting tool. So what I'm going to do with this is get a little bit of black on there. And there's a little, there's a little house here. I'm gonna do these individually because I think that will work best little house in here these are not gonna look good I'm sorry but um, not much I can do about it and then there's another well we'll say there's another one over here just like that So if anybody asks, those are little houses. And then we're just going to draw the beginning of one up here. 
and then the side one over here because I don't know how else to go about that and then we'll let that cure. So here we have this, I imagine it's supposed to be a church, I don't know what else it would be, but it has a little, I guess it's called a spire, I don't know, um, right about here. So I'm just going to try and outline that as best as I can. If I could get paint on this. Like so. And then right about here there is a top of a building. Same building, but top of it anyway. And then comes down right about there. And then there is another peak right here. Okay, so I've cured those, and now it is time to finish the town. So, the inside of this little point here is baby blue. So we're just going to fill that in with baby blue, and then the side here is a little bit darker blue, and same with this front here. And then there is this awful brown, I'm going to mix it with something darker, but that's not mixing for me, so we'll mix it like this. little door. Okay, so now I think is the part where I'm going to go through each nail individually and just kind of fix anything up that I think needs fixed. I'm just going to take my little brush here and I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cure that. And I'm going to quickly go ahead and just kind of touch up the other ones and I will be right back. Okay, so here they are all painted. Now all that's left to do is top coat them. So I'm going to spread them apart a little bit here so I can make sure I get them all. And I'm just going to go ahead with my Madame Glam. Actually, I might do them individually. I think that might be easier. Smooth everything out. I think I'm going to give them each two layers, so I will do that and I will be right back to show you how they look. Okay, so there they are all finished. Um, I have a set of nails on right now, but I have to take them off next week, and I think I'm going to put these on with acrylic, so if you want to see that, let me know, and I will upload that video as well. And if you like this, let me know, and I can try it with another painting. I just figured I would try it with this one because it is my favorite painting. I am actually really happy with the way they turned out. Uh, they're really cute. I really like them, so, uh... Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see next.